morning. Another fine sunny day, although a bit breezy today, and it was breezy and rained overnight, so all the awning and stuff went away just in time. So on a little explore down the river path and have a look around Welford on Avon. So back where I explored a bit yesterday and uh, see what Welford on Avon has to offer. So I'm off down the path, which I didn't go down yesterday. I've just seen the farmer lady, paid me money. I did say that there was some um, down by the river where I was staying, there's three dollops of, of dog poo. So I was just telling her about that, saying you need signs up. And she said, some people ignore it. And she's seen some people wrap it up in bags and just chuck it on the side. So there are some Egypts around. Most people I know are pretty sensible about it. And then she did mention it might be swan poo. So I had to think then. I don't think it was. And she mentioned, have you seen the kingfishers yet? So that I haven't. I was talking to a fisherman yesterday and he said he'd seen a couple flying into the bush so I have to sit down on a chair by the river with a camera this afternoon when I get back and see if I can see any of the colourful beasties. So this is the river walk, got the river just to my right. And this will take me to Welford, the village, she said. So hopefully that'll be interesting. Like, looks like the main road north through the town so I'm going to wander up there to a bridge by the river it, all very nice houses little diddy cottage in there Let's see if I can cross this road bit of a hubbub down there Maybe that's where shops are, so I'll take a look down there later. Yeah, after what I said yesterday, there's definitely some colour up here. Pub, the Bell Inn, and the wardrobe shop. So there's a little centre. And there's a sign telling me about Welford on Avon. It's nice to see a pub called the Bell Inn with an actual bell. So Welford on Avon was mentioned in the Doomsday Book and one of the oldest parts of the village is the southern end of Binton Bridges which is where I'm heading up to along this road so we'll have a look at that. It's a little modern housing 
mixed in with some cottages back, back that way. And I've just passed the garage and diesel is 211, two pounds 11 for a litre of diesel. So I don't know how much trade they get. Some people have. I'm on the famous bridges. It is blowing a bit here. I hope this microphone thing works all right. There's some um, permanent looking caravans here with some moorings. But the water's only about, I don't know, a foot and a half, two feet deep. Doesn't look like there's been any boats up here for a while. And we're looking the other way here. Not much wildlife. Fisherman just out of sight has caught a tiddler. It looks like a marina over there. Don't know if I can get over there and have a, have a butcher's. Again, the river's hardly moving here. I see a few Canada geese and a swan. In the distance there, again, not much. Again, some more holiday caravans or permanent vans, statics, on the edge of the river, very nice. So this to the left is Binton Bridges. That's the best view I'm going to get of it without going in the pub. So the old 13th century bridge. It's quite breezy now, out in the field found a different walkway back around the edge of the river. Quite disappointed I couldn't get a better view of the bridge without going in the pub. So they realise how far I've come to look at that. Anyway, it looks like rain, not supposed to be fore forecasted. Never mind. So I'm in a big field. And it looks like it goes to the river and then down a bit back into village again. So hopefully I can find my way around, get a cappuccino somewhere or hot chalk. thinking I haven't seen a heron today but just on the left a grey heron right in the centre of the picture now Let's see if I can zoom in a 
Hello fella. So I think this bit of the path has ended. Lots of private houses on the river frontage here. I'll keep going, see what else I can find. Looks like I'm in someone's garden, but there's a small path which goes down here somewhere. Nicely manicured bushes. Just come through a small static caravan park. That's the word I was looking for earlier. And the path along the river continues for a little bit. That was a pheasant. <laughs> the river down there just by those trees, come all the way from up there. And this is Welford on Avon in front of me, so I've come in basically all the way around it, two thirds of the way around it. So I head back into the middle. Finally made it to the bottom end of the village where there's another square or triangle, and this is the old maypole. And again, according to the sign, so this this uh, area dates from the 14th century. Probably not the Maypole. Well, it might be. Let's come across a nice Wesleyan chapel. With extra addition on the left-hand side. Let's see if I can find a date. So it's got lots of stones embedded into the wall here, laid by such and such, November 20th, looks like 1915, 1913, 15, difficult to tell really, over 100 years old. And some nice thatched cottages all in a row, four or five of them, a fox chasing a hare and a chicken and her chicks. Just drying out the screen cover. Bayek it was cold last night. I think we had about four or five degrees last night, so trying to keep everything warm. Did have the heating on, just ticking over, and uh, lots of condensation this morning, so that's drying out. So it's the following day, Tuesday, and you see Motorhome Show tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, or I'm going tomorrow, I think it's starting today, I've got a ticket for tomorrow and Thursday. And this afternoon, I'm just going to go for a little walk the other way to where I went yesterday, so towards Stratford along the river. And uh, there's a weir. And I'm not sure if I can get across. There's a village on the other side. So we're going to explore that. Nice garden. 
pony in the field over there. And crows, of course. The track through that way. The river's over here, so I might go down this way. Through on the edge of the field. Let's see what this marker sign says. Looks interesting. So I've got to get down there. Oh, I think the heron's just zoomed off. I brought my big camera today. Just see a big bird zooming off the other side. This would have been a nice little spot for fishing. I think that's probably what the heron thought. And we've just got a bit of boat action. I hung around there for about five minutes, just thinking that the heron might come back. It was disturbed by the boat further up the river, but it didn't, so moving on. Looks like there's a car hiding just up there. Perhaps you can just drive along this track to your fishing spot. What a life, eh? I can hear the weir and through the trees I can see the lock gates but I can't get down down to it, it was a bit annoying and there's a boat going through the locks I want to see it That's it, I think, folks. Can't get across the river. Stepping stones weren't going to work, and there's no bridge for miles. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. Take care then. Bye bye.